finance, investments, Lambos, stocks, stocks and a guitar. Hello everybody, welcome to the $10 studio. I'm your host, CosplayZilla, and uh, we're gonna be looking at Gibson's newest marketing strategy, which is under the guise of investment. Two days ago, Guitar World ran an article, Gibson redefines guitars as investments with new Rally partnership. Rally will allow users to invest $5 to $10 shares of three hand-built, one-of-a-kind, artist-approved Gibson Custom Shop prototypes. The official Gibson release was Own Your Share of Sound. Gibson have partnered with Rally, a platform for investing in rare collectible assets to give you an opportunity to own a piece of history. Three artist prototype guitars from the Gibson Vault. The three are a Slash Double Neck Prototype, an Adam Jones Les Paul prototype and a Tony Iommi SG prototype. Alright, I'm going to do my very best to try and explain this, but if you use just about any logic at all, you're going to get lost. So just, just go with the flow, alright? Rally take an item that they deem to be valuable. Collectibles. And one of their subsidiary companies has ownership of that asset. You then invest in that asset, but you're actually becoming a shareholder of that specific company. When the asset goes up in price, or up in value, or estimated value, I suppose, your shares go up in value. If it goes down, well, so does your money. It's shareholding essentially in an item rather than a company, but technically is a company. And I was going to do it. I was going to take one for the team. I've invested in some, uh, in, in some stuff before, you know fedoras and watering cans i was willing to willing to put down a, f a solid five dollars on this so you didn't have to but sadly i am not able to rally is only open to those in the us who have a social security number and a place of residence so very sadly we can only look today uh, at what's on offer now rally is an app they have 30 million dollars funding and let me tell you it does not feel like that it's got hardly anything on it and when you search up for something, say Gibson, nothing shows up. Even guitar, nothing. So for this video, I had to look at the desktop and the, the guitars do show up there. And I would like to mention, they do have the Declaration of Independence for sale. So, uh, uh, what? So anyway, let's look at the Gibson stuff that we've got available. There is the Slash Double Neck Prototype, and that was only uploaded a few days ago, and it's still got 90 days left, and it's fully funded. 65 grand by 561 investors. You actually can't buy shares. It's 100% funded. You have to wait for the one day per month. After the 90 days, there'll be one day a month from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. where people can trade. It's very limited. But they've got details on this, like why they value it at 65 grand. Not too much details, to be honest with you. But there's a couple of things that I want to point out that don't kind of, they don't fit in together. If we go to the article about this from Guitar World, uh, we've got a quote from uh, Mr. Authentic himself, Mark Agnesi. Guitars of this caliber have historically always gone to individual collectors, but our goal was to find a way to make the ownership experience accessible to as many fans as possible. Thanks to Rally's unique platform, fans can have a chance to own a piece of guitar history that would have otherwise seemed unobtainable. It still is. You don't own it. You're, you're not owning it. You just get bragging rights about how you own one of the strings on it. But... The thing that I want to point out here is this article says, The three guitars in question will be kept by Gibson in a vault inside the company's recently opened Gibson Garage Megastore in Nashville. That doesn't line up with what Rally say. Where are the assets kept? The assets are securely stored in our purpose-built, climate-controlled East Coast facility. They are monitored by trained local staff and are kept under 24-7 video surveillance. So maybe Gibson have a custom deal or whatever with Rally, but uh, Rally haven't said that they do. Because if we go back to the page with the details, it'll tell you that the guitar is stored by Rally. So, you know, price per share, $5. Number of shares, 13,000. That equates to 65 grand. But this bit, equity purchase, $13,000 from the seller. So Gibson, I'm assuming are the seller here, 
own only 20% of that guitar that are they are apparently keeping. So does it not open up the chance that someone invested more than they did, got 21%, have a controlling share more than they do, and can dictate where the guitar can be kept? Is that a possibility? After all, like, the 20% is kind of around what these guitars sell for anyway. So maybe, maybe it's a possibility, a flaw in what's happening. I'm not sure. Most things on Rally though are like, they're, they're either closed or are not scheduled yet. So the Tony Iommi guitar isn't scheduled. The Adam Jones guitar isn't even on the site. If we search for guitar though, we can find a couple other guitars that Rally have have had, like the Carlos Santana owned Gibson. Now this is something that Gibson haven't mentioned. Was anything to do with them? So maybe this was a trial run from Gibson or maybe this is just a private seller, but it was valued at 75 grand. It was 100% funded, 573 investors in this one. And we don't know whether it's gone up or down in value because of Rally's uh, one day a month, a few hours trading. So we have no idea, but you know, 573 people invested in that. But here's a guitar the only other guitar that's actually on Rally that was invested in and it has gone down. This is an Eddie Van Halen concert played signed guitar and it's gone down since the last trading time by 4.44%. So each share was initially valued at $12.40. It's now valued at $11.85. So yeah, it's gone down a little bit. This is basically striking me as like NFTs, although providing maybe even less. They even have an NFT uh, JPEG that you can own a share of the JPEG value. I think maybe these 561 investors could generate a profit because with the media coverage about this, once they go on sale again, they could probably sell for at least a small profit or maybe a large one. I don't know. People will have a fear of missing out and it might pump up the stock a bit more. But from then on, I'm not sure. The valuations of the guitar have to go up for your stock to go up. Considering that the Guitar World article is telling us that the Adam Jones model is valued at $95,000. And bear in mind, this is just a prototype. Like it's not the real thing. I don't know if it will be go up further than that. I think if anything, it's going to go down. Like you can seemingly buy a brand new Adam Jones Custom Signature 79 Les Paul Custom for just over 11,000 US dollars on Reverb right now. It's touted as an investment. I don't think it is because an investment would mean that you're going to get a profit and the valuation of these guitars I don't think is going to go up. Listen, I'm not, I'm not sure that this is anything more than a marketing stunt on Gibson's part. And it's working, like I'm keenly aware that me talking about it is helping further that. But yeah, if you want to invest in Gibson, this would not be the way to do it. Either buy an actual Gibson, or if you're hell bent on investing in the stock market, their parent company is actually publicly traded. Anyway, that's Gibson's stock guitar thing. I don't think it's going to take off, to be honest with you. But uh, yeah. All right, see you next time. Bye-bye. And of course, as always, a massive thank you to the Sub Club. If you want to pump the KDH stock, you can join and become a channel member, just like these beautiful people here, and see videos early.